If anybody went to the Seven Figure Secrets, went through that, that and when you went through our uh, members area, there was a red link, all the other links were blue, there was a red link that said hot products. And I did integration marketing with about five other marketers. I'll show you some of the, the opportunities that we had to make for both of us, us and them, just doing that particular technique right there. Um, and Coreg, I'm not going to even get into that. I think it's probably beyond the scope here. But there's different ways where you could, you could have people, when they go through somebody's autoresponder, put a checkbox that says, I'd also like to receive information about this. <clears throat> Important keys to successful integration, you need to keep accurate metrics on your conversions. Okay, If I'm going to go up to somebody and say, I'd like to do this with you, marketers, really good marketers are going to say, well, what can I expect? You can say, you can make a lot of money. They're going to be like, I need a little more information than that. What you want to say is, based on every 100 impressions on this ad, you should get about 36 clicks. Out of those 36 clicks, you should get about six sales. And out of those six sales, that's going to earn you at 75% this. And then if they later buy the back-end product, two of them will buy the back-end product where you'll get $300. So every single impression is worth $3.68 to you based on past performance. It could be higher or lower depending on your customer. And then people can say, wow, that can make me a lot of money if I put that in this particular marketing funnel. Partner up only with JVs that market to the same target buyers. Makes sense, right? If you're selling Forex, you don't want to sell somebody how to lose weight. You don't, I mean, if this guy's into Forex, you don't go up and say, hey, I have a product that shows you how to lose weight in 10 days. Now, if somebody has a product on the low carb diet, maybe you have an exercise ebook. That would be a pretty compliment. You're not hurting that person by having another um, diet program. Yours is an exercise program, it's a perfect match. Pay out a higher affiliate commission than the normal. Example, 75%. If you're paying 50%, give them 75%. You have to entice them. Okay, if you're giving 75, give 100%. If you're saying, how can you give 100%, I'll show you why later. Because the important thing that you want to remember is, what are you getting here? You're getting a list. You're getting a paid customer. Okay, even if you can get that customer for free by giving 100% commission, you have a customer that's proven to buy, and you can build a relationship with them and, and go on, but 75% seems to be the magic number. Pay out on back-end sales. So if you're going to make a $37 offer, and then later in that process are going to make a $197 offer, or a $500 offer, or a $3,000 offer, whatever it may be, and whether that's immediately in an upsell, or three weeks later with a follow-up, or a direct mailing, you make sure you pay them. Because they forget that they've even made this deal with you. And I don't even know if I have it in the slide. Like I said, it's been, been about a month. So I'm just going to say it here. If it comes up later, great. The first time they make a sale, you send them an email, personal email. And I would recommend sending the check that day. Clearing out the commission, send the person that $70, $70 check or $15 check, or maybe wait three or four days and send them a check with a note and say, See, it's working and it's only been two days. Because marketers are lazy. I'm telling you, they'll tell you they check their stats and they split test and they do all this type of stuff. Some of them do. Some of them do. Others get busy running their business and they do this. What is this check for $4,000 for? Anybody know what company this is? And you go around like crazy and you find out, oh, that's a promotion we did two months ago. Believe it or not, there comes a point where if somebody forgets to pay you, you might forget that you're owed the money. And you don't want that to happen because if that happens and somebody one day goes back to their thank you page and they're looking, why do I have this ad on my thank you page? Oh, that was that guy that contacted me two years ago. I don't even know if I'm making money. I don't want that ad. I'll take it off. But if they know they're making money and you're showing them this is making money, they're going to be much less likely to take the ad off. Offer special prices to JVs, to the JV partners' customers that are lower than the general public. Like I said, if your product sells for 47, give it to them for 27. I pre-write emails for my partners and say, hey, in your autoresponder, copy and paste these emails, put it in on wherever your autoresponder ends, put it on the tail end. If you really want to make more money, put it closer to the beginning. 
pre-written blog reviews is integration marketing. As I told you, log out pages. This is when you log out of many sites on the internet, you'll actually see this ad. Um, newsletter success pages when you opt into a newsletter. Okay, uh, seeking out JV partners. Identify your competitors and say, how can I turn that competitor into a partner? Approach the JV partners when asked to promote. When okay, this is a great one. This is a great one. This is one of my secrets. I, I've I've hardly shared this with anybody. When people say to me, hey Mike, I've got a product coming out and it's doing this and here's what it does for people. Can you promote for me on September 10th? I say, um, okay. And you know what I used to say? I used to say, I've got Review Crusher coming out. Can you send an email for me? And they would say, okay. You know what I say now? I say, I'll mail for you. Can you put my ad on your thank you page? It's almost a condition now. You want me in your, on your launch, my products go on your thank you page. And they're happy. Yeah, great. Okay. So I asked them to do the traffic fusion rather than get a promo back. All right, here's an example of other people using traffic fusion. All right, here's Michael Rasmussen. You may have seen this. Who's on Michael Rasmussen's list? Okay, a couple of you. You probably got on through the, one of these methods. You've bought somebody else's product, and said, download your product, download your bonus, and here's an unadvertised bonus for you. Get email promos exposed or mini site profits exposed for free. Mike was smart. You click and you get three videos for free, and if you want the other 15, it's 47 bucks. It's called commitment and consistency. The shy yes. Get them to agree to something small. People tend to stay consistent with initial commitments. Okay? He didn't try to sell you anything. And the first three videos, if that's all you got, were pretty good stuff. All right? Example of other people using, um, here's an example that uh, $4,000 profit to me and Michael Rasmussen in two weeks using that method by putting it on my thank you page. I made 4000 he made $4,000. $8,000 total in sales. That's our uh, ClickBank uh, screenshot there. Uh, here's Telman Knudsen. This is an ad that I put on Telman, for Telman Knudsen. He puts my ad in his system. I put his in mine. This is a little ad. He went with the words, your mission. Why? Because I went with the Butterfly Marketing Manuscript, and I used a very like, confidential, your mission, if you choose to accept it, make more money, that type of thing. So he put your mission, and he put this little thing, and he just put click here, and it sends it to a free course on list building. People that buy my product go into his funnel, and we made... $3,500 in profits to me and Telman in two weeks, and that number is right, uh, right here. Total money I've made with Telman with this campaign, $32,000. That this month, and this was done last month when I was at Carl's event, was $3,500. Okay, now understand, this isn't me doing it with Telman. This is Telman knowing it, and he'll, he does it with, he's doing it off my traffic. So this is money that I'm making, but Telman's also making this. Okay, here's Mark Joyner. If you were to buy one of our products, step 11, we put here, this might be the real step one to give it credibility. Okay, remember, Mark was the one that taught me all this stuff. We do a lot of this stuff together. And here's a little ad. Do yourself a favor and set up your free Simpleology account. Right? So do you think Mark just does this with me? <laughs> 